new to my channel, I design simply chic patterns for crocheters of all levels. You can find written instructions for all my free patterns on itchingforsomestitching.com. You can find all my patterns in PDF format for purchase in my shop, or you can get them as a member of my VIP community. If you haven't done so before, I'd love it if you'd hit that like button, pop a comment on down below, and subscribe to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to crochet the Leaf Hopper beanie. This is a fun textured beanie that's worked from the bottom up and can be made in child size through adult large sizes, per the chart provided in the written instructions, which are, you can find for free on my website. Today I will be crocheting a child size in this video tutorial. The skills you need to complete this pattern include the chain stitch, the slip stitch, the single crochet, the double crochet, and the leaf hopper cluster, also called the leaf hopper stitch. You can find a full tutorial for the leaf hopper cluster on my channel, but it is also demonstrated in this tutorial. The materials you need for this pattern include a tapestry needle for weaving in ends, an embroidery scissor for snipping, a measuring tape, a five millimeter crochet hook, and some medium four worsted weight yarn. I am using Swish worsted weight from We Crochet, and this is the colorway Squirrel Heather. Okay, so to start making our leaf hopper beanie, the first thing you're going to actually start with is this is a beanie that is worked actually from the bottom up. And you're actually going to work this brim piece first. So let's go ahead and start doing that. The way that you would start the brim is that you are going to, of course, do your slip knot. Okay. And then for an adult size hat, you're gonna chain nine. I'm gonna be doing a child size hat, so I'm gonna chain six. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? Then you are going to turn your piece over. I like to go into the back post only, that's these little posts back here on the underside of your stitches. Okay, and you are going to go into the second post from the hook. So here's one, and here's two, and you're going to make a single crochet. Okay, that's one. Here is two, you're going to do that all the way along your little piece. Three. Here's four. And here's five. Now remember we did start with six, but when we go into that second stitch from the hook, we do lose one, okay? So when you're doing a child size, you start with chaining six, you end up with five stitches. When you are doing an adult, you will start with a chain nine and you will end up with eight stitches. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one. We are going to turn our work and we are going to work into the back loop only, okay? So this is your front loop and this is your back loop back here. So we're gonna insert our hook into that back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and that's making a single crochet. So we are gonna single crochet into each stitch in the back loop only all the way across. So we've done one, two, three, four, and this is five, whoops and this is five, okay? And now we're going to chain one again and turn our work and we're gonna repeat this all the way across again into the back loop only. Here's our first single crochet, our second, third, fourth, and here's our fifth one, okay? 
All right, and you can already see that this kind of ribbed structure is starting to form already. And what we're gonna do is we're going to do this it's gonna be like one long piece. And I want you to do it until, if you take a look at the written instructions, which like I said, would be available on the website or in the PDF, you want to go to the head circumference size for the hat that you are making. Now, the yarn that I'm using here, which is the We Crochet Swish, is very elastic, which means it's gonna have a lot of stretch to it. If you're using a yarn like this one that has a lot of stretch, you're gonna go about two inches less than that head circumference size um, noted in the chart in the written instructions. If you are using a yarn that has uh, very little elasticity, you're gonna wanna get closer to that head circumference size, okay? Um, this one here, because it's gonna have a lot of stretch, I wanna make sure that if that it doesn't end up, if I do the exact size, so say this is the exact size, what's gonna happen is when it stretches, it's gonna be out here and it's not going to fit. Okay, if it's an inelastic yarn, one that doesn't stretch very much, you can get closer to that exact size. So for this, like I said, I'm gonna go two inches less than what would be in the chart for, for the size I'm doing. And like I said, I am doing a child size. So if you're looking at that chart um, and you're using an, a very elastic yarn, make sure that you go two inches less. So let's go ahead we'll make that long strip and when we come back i'll show you how to turn that long strip into a ring to cr to start forming the body of our hat now we have completed the ribbing and what we want to do is our ribbing is one long piece right now and what we want to do is we want to take it and we want to fold it over so that these two short edges are aligned and then what we're going to do is we're going to seam them together Okay, I'm going to slip stitch them together and I'm going to do this very easily by just turning my hook. I'm going to go under this stitch and then under the stitch directly across, I'm going to yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop that's right here as well. Okay, and I'm going to go into the next one, across to the next stitch, pull through, pull through, through this stitch, through this one here, pull through, pull through. Okay, so we're gonna go through this stitch here, through this stitch here on the opposite side, pull through, pull through, and we're gonna go through the last one. Okay, we're gonna go through this stitch here, through this stitch here, pull through, pull through. Okay, so now we have slip stitched these two pieces together. So now what I want you to do is I want you to kind of turn the beanie so you're working this direction and not this direction because this is the part okay that we want to be on the inside of the hat and this is the part we want on the outside of the hat so you want to actually be working in this direction so when you finish with slip stitching together you're going to be like this and you want to kind of turn it like this so you're working like this and what you're going to do next is you're going to go ahead and chain one okay and then what you're going to do is you are going to single crochet all the way along the top of this ribbed section here, the circle, the circular rib, which is going to be the, the bottom brim of our hat. Okay, and what I want you to do is I want to make sure you single crochet evenly, okay, so that your beanie doesn't end up being too tight here and you don't want it too loose. So you want to make sure that you're single crocheting evenly along, but that you're also making multiples of four plus one to start, okay? So for this one here, I am going to try for about, this is a child size one, I'm gonna try for about, um, I don't know, 72 to 74 stitches. I'll just see how that kind of works out, but I'm going to make sure that I crochet evenly all the way along the top. And then when I get around here, I should have about 72. And then when I get 72 or 74, um, I'm not sure yet, I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna work it and see. But when I get here, I'm gonna make sure I wanna add that extra stitch so that it's multiple of four plus one. So I wanna basically end up with either 73 or 75, okay? And um, this just happens to be the size that it's a child size. I'm making this to fit my son, so I have measured his head, which is something I do recommend that you do before you start your pattern, is you measure the person that you're going to be making this for, so that way it's a more tailored fit to them. I'm going to, so let's start off by single crocheting right here. I'm going to insert my hook, okay? 
and I'm going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, I'm gonna go into this one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and that's two stitches. Okay, I'm gonna go in here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so now I'm gonna continue that all the way around, and when I get right back here, I'm going to come back and show you how we get to round two. Okay, so I have just completed round one, which is a round of single crochets all around the top of the ribbing of our hat, of the brim of our hat. And what I've done is I've single crocheted evenly. So I've evenly spaced them. I have a multiple of four plus one. So what I have is 73 single crochets. Um, so 72 is my multiple of four plus one gives me my 73. And then what I want to do to close this round is I want to actually slip stitch. This right here is the chain one that we started off this round one with. So I'm going to actually slip stitch into that chain one to close this round, okay? So to start round two, I'm gonna start by making a chain three. One, two, three, and this, this chain three counts as your first double crochet. And that's what we're gonna do for this entire round of round two. We are gonna double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So to double crochet, we yarn over, we insert our hook into our first stitch, we yarn over again, we pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, one more time, we yarn over, we insert our hook into the next stitch, we yarn over again, we pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so those are double crochets. We are gonna do that, like I said, in every stitch all the way around. When we get back here, I'll meet you back here. I'll come back and I will show you how to close round two. Okay, so here we are. We are at the end of round two. I have just done my 70th. This is number 70 uh, double crochet and I'm going to do 71. 72, and this is 73. And what, I'm going to, and what I'm going to do to close off this round is I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three. So that's one, two, and this is three right here. I'm gonna go ahead, insert my hook right there, yarn over, pull through, and just slip stitch to close that, okay? So now I have officially closed round two. To start round three, I'm going to start with another chain three. One, two, and three. And again, this chain three does count as a stitch. So from here on out in the pattern, every time you do a chain three, which you will do at the beginning of each round, that chain three does count as a stitch, okay? And then what we want to do is in our next stitch, which is right here, Okay, we want to put a double crochet. Okay, so for starting round two, we technically start with two double crochets. One is our chain three and one is right here. And what we want to do is for the leaf hopper stitch, we're actually going to be working it along the previous round, which should always be a round of double crochets. Okay, so for this first leaf hopper stitch, we're gonna work it down here. What we're going to do is we are going to yarn over and we're going to work it around the double crochet that we have just placed this double crochet into. So the one right below it, okay? So we're going to work it around the post and we're going to work it around going from front to back, okay? So like this, so we're going into the front and around the back, we are going to yarn over, pull through, and then what we want to do is we want to pull up really, really high, okay? So about that high. We're going to yarn over again. We're gonna do that one more time, okay? And, and the easiest way I found to do this is to kind of pinch the stitch that you're gonna be working around. So you can go in from front to back, yarn over and pull through, and again, pull it up really, really high, okay? Um, Sometimes I think people say with this stitch that you kind of go up as high as you would with a treble crochet. I say just go up as about as high as is comfortable for you. So that's about here for me. 
and then yarn over and you pull through. So at this point, actually before we yarn over, at this point you should have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. So now you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna pull through four. So right through here, okay? And that is gonna leave you with two loops on your hook, okay? So you're gonna keep those two, two loops there. You're gonna yarn over again. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna skip your next double crochet and you're gonna do what you did with this one here working around the post. You're gonna do it around this double crochet. So skip this double crochet and go to this one. You're gonna go forward to back, yarn over, pull through, pull up high as you can, okay? Yarn over again. I like to pinch the um, stitch that I'm working around, go in from front to back. This is my yarn over right here. Pull through, pull up high, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna yarn over, and I'm gonna pull through these four loops. Remember I have, for here I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm gonna pull through these four. Okay, that leaves me with three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three to close, okay? And that is a leaf hopper stitch. Now this might kind of look like a little loose, funny leaf hopper stitch, and that is because I was doing this very, very slowly. As you do this more quickly, it does tighten up a little more and doesn't look quite so loose and bulky. Um, but that is how you do the leaf hopper stitch. To finish the leaf hopper stitch, you are actually going to do a double crochet and you're gonna double crochet into the stitch directly behind where we did this kind of left cross of the double of, of the leaf hopper stitch. It's right here, so it's directly behind it. And you're gonna to wanna to work a double crochet right into that stitch right there. Okay, and that technically closes it off, okay? So this is what it would look like at this point. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and double crochet into the next two stitches. All right, and I'm gonna show you that again and I'm gonna try to go a little, little faster so that my leaf hopper stitch doesn't look quite so funny. So, all right, so we are going to yarn over and we are gonna work around this stitch here, we're gonna make sure that we skip this one and that we work around this one, the one that's attached to the third double crochet on this round that we're working. So we're gonna go from front to back, yarn over, pull up to make that, that stitch extended, yarn over again, work front to back around that stitch, yarn over, pull up. Okay, we're going to pull through all four of these loops here this leaves two loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over, we're gonna skip the next double crochet, and we are gonna work around this double crochet right here, going from front to back. Yarn over, pull up, yarn over, work from front to back around that post, yarn over and pull up. Okay, so we have four stitches over here and two over here. We're gonna yarn over, pull through all four, yarn over, pull through the final three. Oh, hold on here, let's try that again. We lost our stitch. Okay, yarn over and pull through the final three. And we have just worked our second leaf hopper stitch and we are gonna finish it off by making a double crochet into the stitch that's right behind. So this leaf hopper stitch has, basically has kind of like two wings, I guess, one going from right to left and one going from left to right. And you wanna make sure that you are double crocheting into the stitch directly behind the part that goes from left to right. So right in here, and we're going to double crochet. Okay, and then we are going to double crochet into the next two stitches. And then we are gonna go ahead and we are going to leave hopper stitch again into this around, around the stitch that's directly below your last double crochet that you just worked. So you're working three double crochets and then you're gonna leave hopper stitch and it starts around this post right here that's right below the double crochet that you just worked. So what you're going to notice is that between each leave hopper stitch on the round that was just all double crochets, you're going to have 
one double crochet in between your two leaf hopper stitches. On the row that you are currently working, the one that where you're actually making those leaf hopper stitches, you're going to end up with three double crochets between them. There's one, two, and three between these two leaf hopper stitches. And that's the way it's going to be all the way around, okay? So we've just worked three double crochets and we're gonna make our next leaf hopper stitch. Yarn over, from, go under this, around this stitch from front to back. Yarn over, pull up, make that extension. Yarn over, go from front to back. Yarn over, pull up. Yarn over, pull through four, leaving two. Yarn over, skip this next stitch here. Go from front to back around this post. Yarn over, pull up. Yarn over, front to back. Yarn over and pull up. Sorry, got a little piece of hair stuck in there. Let's get rid of that. All right, and then we're gonna yarn over, pull through four. Yarn over, pull through three. And then we're going to finish it off with that double crochet that is directly behind the left to right kind of angled wing of the sleeve popper stitch, okay? Finish it off here with this double crochet. Okay, so that's one double crochet. And then we're gonna double crochet into the next two stitches. Okay, and we're gonna continue that all the way around. So we are going to make another leaf hopper stitch. Okay, and we are going to make sure that we're skipping this one here and that we're working around this stitch here. Get some little yarn, give me some extra yarn here. All right, we're gonna yarn over, go through all four. Yarn over, we're gonna skip the next double crochet. We're gonna work around this double crochet right here. Pulling up, yarn over, pull up again. Yarn over, pull through four. Yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, make a double crochet back here. Okay, and there we have three, oh, I'm oh, sorry, we have four leaf hopper, hopper stitches. And we're just gonna go ahead and continue in this pattern all the way around, okay? So it is three double crochets. You are gonna work a leaf hopper stitch, three double crochets, leaf hopper stitch, three double crochets, leaf hopper stitch, and do that all the way around, okay? And when you get right around here, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to close this round. Okay, here I am. I am near the end of this first round of leaf hopper stitches. I've just completed this leaf hopper stitch and my double crochet to close that, to, to, to seal it off here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my next two double crochets. Okay, and now I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leaf hopper stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over. I'm gonna work around this post here, so I'm gonna skip this double crochet. Front to back here, yarn over, pull through and up to make that extension. Yarn over again. Go around this post, yarn over again, and pull up. Yarn over, pull through four, leaving two. Yarn over. I'm going to skip here, and I'm gonna work around this post here from front to back. Yarn over, pull up. Yarn over around the post and pull up again. Yarn over, pull through the first four, leaving three. Yarn over and pull through three, okay? And I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to double crochet into the post right behind this part of the leaf hopper stitch, okay? All right, and then I'm going to double crochet into the next stitch, which is the last stitch here. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch to the top of this chain three to close this round. So it's one, two, and three. All right, and what you'll notice here is that between these two leaf hopper stitches, there are two stitches on this row right here, so two double crochets one here and one here, and on this row there are four, one, two, three, and four, whereas with all the other ones, 
there is one between them on the lower row and three between them on the upper row. Right here where we are putting it together, where we're joining our rounds, this is the only place where it's gonna be slightly different. You're gonna have two on the bottom and four on the top, but that doesn't really affect the overall look of this pattern. Okay, so now to continue on to the next row, or the, to continue on to the next round, we're gonna chain three, one, two, and three. And we are going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So we are now on a double crochet round, and then the round after that will be a leaf hopper round, okay? So for this one, let's go ahead and double crochet in each stitch around. And when you get round back here, we're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three to close. Here we are at the end of this double crochet round. And now what we want to do to close off this round is we are going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. That's one, two, and three. Okay, to start the next round, we want to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to double crochet into the, each of the next four double crochets. This is one. Two. Three. And four. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to start another, this is going to be another round of leaf hopper stitches. And what I want to do is I want those leaf hopper stitches to kind of fall in between the two leaf hopper stitches on this row right here, or this round right here. So I'm going to go ahead and start it right in here. So I'm going to yarn over. And I'm going to insert my hook from front to back, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through four, yarn over, skip the next stitch, make it the other part of the leap hopper stitch. Let's make sure we pull up here. yarn over, pull through four, yarn over, pull through three. Okay, and as you can see that we have made this leaf hopper stitch in the center of the two leaf hopper stitches here, and then we're gonna do that all the way around. Let's finish this off. We're going to double crochet into the stitch right behind here. That's one. And as we've been doing into the next three double crochets, two and three and this should place us again between these two leaf hopper stitches so we're going to make our leaf hopper stitch which will go from here to here Okay, we're gonna skip this one and work around this post here. All right, and let's go ahead and do our three double crochets. And this is three right here. Okay, and we are gonna start another leaf hopper stitch. Okay, skip this one. We're gonna work around this post here. Okay, and let's finish off this leaf hopper stitch with our three double crochets. Okay, and so you can see how these leaf hopper stitches are falling in between the two from the previous rounds here. 
And we're going to go ahead and we're going to continue in this pattern all the way around. So it's the leaf hopper stitch that will be in between these two leaf hopper stitches. Double crochet in the next three stitches, leaf hopper stitch, double crochet, leaf hopper stitch, or three double crochets, leaf hopper stitch, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to do that all the way around. And we get close around here. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how we, it's going to be a little bit different as we close here because we want to get a leaf hopper stitch right around here, which is in between these two. So it's going to be a little bit different. So let's come right around. We'll get, when we get right around here, we'll come back and we'll show you how to finish up this round here. Okay, so here we are near the end of this leap hopper round. I have just finished a leap hopper stitch here. I've done my three double crochets. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place a leaf hopper stitch in between these two by working in this area here. So I'm going to yard over. I'm going to work under this post here, pull up, yarn over, work under the post, pull up, yarn over, pull through four loops, yarn over. I'm going to skip this post here and I'm going to work under this post, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, work under the post, pull up, yarn over, pull through four, yarn over, pull through three. Okay, and now I'm going to make my three double crochets. So this is one, this is two, and here's our third one right here. Okay, and to close this round, we are going to go ahead and slip stitch to the top of the chain three right here. To close it okay now when you look at this you're going to notice that there's a big space right here and what we want to do is we want to put a leaf hopper stitch right here in between these two here so what we're going to do here is a little bit different from the way we close the other rounds okay so with closing the other rounds we would usually just close here and then move on to the next one what we're going to do instead is we're going to work a leaf hopper stitch down here and what we're going to do is we are going to yarn over okay and we're not going to be working here we're going to be working here so we are going to go ahead and we're going to skip this one here and we're going to work around this one here all right so we're just going to come all the way down work around the post yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through four Okay, we are going to skip the one here and we're going to work around this post here. So we're going to yarn over, insert from front to back, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, work through, pull up. Okay, so now we're going to yarn over and pull through the four loops and we're going to yarn over and pull through our last three loops. Okay, so you can see now how this puts a leaf hopper stitch in between these two leaf hopper stitches here, we do end up with our three double crochets in between here and our three double crochets in between these two leaf hopper stitches. So now to close this, what we're gonna do is in this stitch behind where we usually put a double crochet, we're going to slip stitch there, okay, to close that off. Oh, hang on here, let's try that again. Okay. All right, we're going to slip stitch here to close this off. All right, and we have now completed our second round of leap hopper stitches. Okay, our next round will be a full double crochet round all the way around the top of the beanie. And we're going to start by chaining three. So that's one, two, three. And then we're going to go ahead and double crochet into each stitch all the way around okay so this one actually is attached here so let's make sure we go into the right stitch so that's this one right here okay and we're gonna do that all the way around when we get back here I'll show you how to go ahead and close off this round so here we are at the end of this double crochet round and this is a little bit different than what we did in the previous double crochet rounds 
because when we get back here after doing this particular leaf hopper stitch round you actually end up with an extra stitch so this is my this is stitch number 72 and if I were to continue on I this would be 73 and this would be 74 and that would give me an extra stitch. so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to do what's called the double crochet two together and I'm going to turn these two stitches into one so I'm going to start by yarning over I'm going to insert my hook into this stitch, yarn over again, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So it's like I'm starting a double crochet, but I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to go ahead and yarn over and I'm going to start again like I'm double crocheting into this stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook. I'm going to yarn over. I am going to pull through. Okay. And I have four loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two. Like I have literally just completed half a double crochet in each of these two stitches, leaving me three loops on this hook here. And I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so that is a double crochet two together. I do have a full slow tutorial on how to do this. I will put a link either in description or into the video for you to go back and review that video if you need to do it a little bit more slowly. Of course, you can also re um, rewind this video and um, put it in slow motion if you like as well. To close off this round, we are going to go ahead and we are going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three to close. So that's one, two, and three. All right, and there we have it. Now, I want you to note here that even though it looks like you have two double crochets, you actually only have one stitch. So don't be confused when you come back around. This is literally only one stitch here, even though it kind of looks like you have two double crochets here, you actually don't, okay? Okay, to start the next round, we want to chain three. One, two, three. And now our goal here is to again, our goal here is to again put a leaf hopper stitch in between the two leaf hopper stitches here. All the way around okay so we're going to yarn over we're going to make a double crochet into the next stitch okay and that gets us into the right position okay so now we are going to work our first leap hopper stitch around this post we're going to skip this post and work it around this post and that'll put it right between these two leap hopper stitches okay so we're going to yarn over we're going to work around this post here yarn over pull up yarn over work around the post, yarn over and pull up, okay, yarn over, pull through four, okay, skip this stitch here, yarn over, work around the next post, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, work around the post, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through four, yarn over, pull through three, okay, and you can see that that puts that leaf hopper stitch right between these two here. Okay, so it should be um, either directly above or close to directly above the leaf hopper stitch on the round down here, okay? So now we are going to yarn over, make our double crochets, and it's just like the other ones, we're gonna double crochet into each of the next three stitches. This is two, and this is three, okay? And that puts us right here to where we will work around this post. We will skip this post and work around this post, putting our leaf hopper stitch in between these two, nearly either directly or nearly directly above this leaf hopper stitch here. So we're gonna yarn over. Okay, skip this one, work over here. All right, and then work our three double crochets. This will be two, and here will be three, okay? So you see how that's working out there? Okay, we're gonna continue to do this, again, all the way around, okay? And when we come back here, I will show you how to close off this round. Okay, here we are at the end of this leaf hopper stitch round. I have just completed my last leaf hopper stitch, which is between these two here and nearly directly above this one here. Now I'm gonna do my double crochets and I'm gonna do one. Now with the ending here, 
This chain three is attached to this stitch here, so this is not our stitch. We're only gonna do two double crochets. So we're gonna do one here and one here. Okay, and we are gonna end by placing a slip stitch into the top of the chain three. So that's one, two, and three. Okay. And just like with our very first round of, our very first rounds, so it, each, each round here is actually two. It's a double crochet with the leap hopper stitch round working on top of the double crochet round. So this is two rounds, this is two rounds, this is two rounds. So as we did with these two rounds, when we ended with these leap hopper stitches, we had four double crochets between these two. That is what we have here as well. So essentially what you're doing for the rest of your beanie is you're repeating these Round. So you're repeating these two rounds, which we did here. Now we're gonna do a repeat of these two rounds here, and then you're gonna come back and you're gonna repeat these two rounds again, and then you're gonna repeat these two rounds again, all the way to the height that you want for your beanie. Now I have provided in the written instructions uh, measurements that you would want to kind of have a fitted beanie, measurements that you would want to have a slouchy beanie. I have decided I'm gonna go ahead and make this a slouchy beanie. So I'm going to kind of make it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna have a few extra rounds here, but essentially that's what you're doing for the rest of your pattern. I'm gonna still continue to work it for you, um, but that is what we're doing from here on out basically and then when we get to the very end of the hat of course i'll come back and show you how to tie it all up okay so to start the next round we are going to do a chain three one two three and we are going to place a double crochet in each stitch all the way around because we are on a double crochet round okay, here we are we are back at the end of this double crochet round i have 72 stitches here this is going to be my 73rd stitch. Now, what I want to point out is that when we did this leap hopper round, we started with a chain three and a double crochet before we started our first leap hopper stitch. So when you have that round as your kind of your preceding um, rounds, you should end up, when you do your next double crochet round, which is what we have here, you should end up with your 73 stitches. You should end up with the exact number of stitches that you started with. However, when you work that round where um, when you do your very first leaf hopper stitch, you've actually chained three and then you've double crocheted four times. When you do those rounds, you end up with one extra stitch and that is where when you close, you're gonna have to do that double crochet two together. So please make sure that you are keeping track of your stitch count because you always want to have 73 stitches when you are closing your double crochet rounds, okay? So since our round preceding here with the leaf hopper stitch started with a chain three and one double crochet, we don't have to do that double crochet two together here to make our 73 stitches. It just happens naturally as long as you have done your stitch, done your stitches correctly all the way around, okay? So this is going to be my 73rd stitch. And to close the round, I am going to chain three, or I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three right here. Okay, so now we're going to be working another leaf hopper stitch round. And as I said previously, you're kind of basically repeating two rounds. You're repeating a double crochet round and a leaf hopper round, a double crochet round and a leaf hopper round, a double crochet round and a leaf hopper round. This is our double crochet round. Now we're going to be doing a leaf hopper round. And you're also repeating the you're repeating them in, in sections of two. So you're repeating these two, then you're gonna repeat these two, then you're gonna repeat this one again, and then you're gonna repeat this one again, and then you're gonna repeat this one again, and then you're gonna repeat this one again. Mm -hmm. So what we have here on this round was a repeat of these two rounds here. So now that we're doing our leaf hopper stitch round here, we're gonna be repeating the one here. And this is the one where our leaf hopper stitch round starts with a chain three, one, two, three, and then a double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So this is one, two, three, and here's four, okay? So this is where we're going to start making our very first leap hopper stitch to have it go in between the two here. So we're gonna work around this post, 
skip this post and we're going to work around this post. Now, since this is that leaf hopper stitch round that starts basically with five double crochets, because remember this chain three does count as a double crochet, when you get to your next double crochet round, you're going to have to close it off with that double crochet two together because this round does add one extra stitch, okay? This leaf hopper round that we're gonna be doing adds one extra stitch, okay? So let's start our first leaf hopper. Okay. So that's one side. Again, skipping here, we're gonna work around this post here. And this is all written down in the written instructions. So if you are having a little trouble following along in the video, you can pull up those written instructions and make sure that you're following along there as well. That might be a little cl more clear for some people, other people prefer the video. So again, we have placed this leaf hopper stitch between these two, which is nearly directly above the leaf hopper stitch that we have here, okay? So it may not be exactly direct, um, but either way it's still going to look very nice okay you're still you're still kind of offsetting each round so you have two here one here two here and you're going to be doing the same thing so two one two one our next one will have two this way okay so um we did our double crochet here and now we're going to go into the next two stitches because each of our leaf hopper stitches are separated by three double crochets okay so there's our three and we're going to start our next sleep hopper stitch around this post here Okay, we're going to skip this one and we're going to work around this one here. All right, and then we're going to work our three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, and we're going to work our next leap hopper stitch around this post here. We're going to skip this one and we're going to work around this one here. Okay, and we're going to work our three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, and we're going to continue all the way around. And we're going to come back here and if you remember these two rounds especially the leaf hopper stitch round because that's the one that we're on it's going to end where we actually have a bunch of double crochets here and we're going to have to do something a little funky to get our leaf hopper stitch right here in between these two um, i am going to show you how to do that once again when we get around to the end of this round here Okay, here we are at the end of this leaf hopper stitch round. I have finished my last leaf hopper stitch. I've done my one double crochet and I'm gonna finish up by putting my next two double crochets, one here and one here. Okay, and as usual, we are going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three to close. Okay, so this was that leaf hopper stitch round that started with our chain three and then four double crochets. So we do kind of have this little blank space here. So to fill that in and put a um, leaf hopper stitch between these two, we're going to work right around here. I am going to work around this post and I'm going to skip this post and work around this post here, okay? And so what that does, just so you guys um, know, it leaves one stitch here okay but it actually leaves two stitches here which is not really a big deal okay so usually it's one stitch on each side of your leaf hopper stitches you see there's one here and there's one here and it's like that all the way around this is the only spot where you actually have two okay so let's go ahead and yarn over we're gonna work around this one here Right, we are skipping this one and working around this one. Okay, and there is our leaf hopper stitch in between these two and above this one here. 
close this off, we are going to slip stitch to that back double crochet where we would usually put our double crochet. Okay, and then to start the next round, we are going to chain three. One, two, and three. And then this is a double crochet round. So we are gonna place a double crochet in every stitch all the way around. Now remember, this is the round where we started with that chain three, four double crochets, which means we do have an extra stitch now. This is the, the round that increases your stitch count by one. So when we get back here, we are gonna do that double crochet, two together to reduce our stitch count back to our original stitch count. Okay, so let's go ahead, do, all double, do our double crochets. I'll meet you right back here to do that double crochet two together. Okay, here we are at the end of this double crochet round. Remember this leaf hopper stitch round here was the round that started with a chain three and then four double crochets. So it did increase our stitch count by one. If I were to complete this, instead of having my original 73, I would end up with 74. So I am going to double crochet two together, these two stitches to make sure that I have my 73, which is my original stitch count. Okay, so I'm going to yarn over. I am going to insert my hook into the first stitch. Okay, I'm gonna yarn over and pull through. And then I'm gonna yarn over and pull through too, like I am starting a double crochet here, but not finishing it. I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, as if I am starting a double crochet here, but not finishing it. Yarn over, pull through all three, and I have just turned two double crochets into one stitch. That's double crochet, two together, and that leaves me with 73 stitches instead of 74. 73 is my original stitch count, and that's what I want to keep. Okay, to close this off, I am going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Okay, so our next Round is a leaf hopper stitch round. We are going to start with a chain three. One, two, three. And this is the one where we start right here with one double crochet. Okay. And so our leaf hopper stitch will be worked around this post, skipping this post, and then working around this post here, which will put our leaf hopper stitch right between these two stitches here and directly above this leaf hopper stitch here. Let's go ahead and work that one. Okay, and let's finish it off with that double crochet into the back stitch behind the leaf hopper stitch. Okay, and then in our next two stitches, another double crochet and another double crochet. Okay, and then we will start our next leaf hopper stitch. Okay, so it'll be around this post, skipping this post, and then this post. We are going to do that all the way around. We're going to come back here. We will finish off as usual by uh, slip stitching into the top of that chain three. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll come back here and we'll meet up here and we will just go through that one last time. Okay, we have now come to the end of this leaf hopper stitch round. This was the one that started with a chain three and one double crochet. So we're all the way back around. That means I've just finished my last leaf hopper stitch. I've completed my first double crochet, and this round ends with two double crochets. So I'm gonna place my, place my last one right here. Okay, and then I am going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. This is one, two, and three to close this round. Okay, all right. So for this particular beanie, the one that I am doing for my son, as I said, I'm going to kind of make it a slouchy, so it's gonna be a little bit longer than a traditional beanie and for his size that I have done here I need it to be roughly about eight inches. Let's kind of put the camera up here. See. Okay so let's go ahead and measure. All right and that does look like about where we are at eight inches. Okay so what I'm going to do at this point is I am going to go ahead and I'm going to bind off and I'm actually going to turn this into a beanie because as you can see right here, this is really more of just kind of a tube at this point, okay? And it's kind of like, um, 
it's either like kind of more of a squarish or sometimes a rectangular and or you might even say like an inverted kind of triangle at this point but it is essentially just a tube and what we want to do now is we want to cinch off the top of this beanie to kind of bring it in and turn it into a real hat okay so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some embroidery scissors we're gonna snip this and then I am going to show you how to form the top of this hat okay so I am back with my embroidery scissors and what I want you to do is I want you to leave a very long tail okay so I'm gonna pull this out and I like to leave about a foot sometimes longer sometimes less I do not measure it I just eyeball it so I just pull it out really really long okay and then I snip it okay and then let's take out the extra yarn there we go that's attached to the ball okay and then I'm going to thread a tapestry needle with this yarn here all right so now the tail of this yarn is through my yarn or is through my uh, tapestry needle and now what I'm going to do to cinch this together is I'm essentially going to take my tapestry needle and I am going to go right along the edge I'm going to insert it here and I'm going to go right along the edge of the top of the beanie okay see how I'm kind of pushing that through and that means I'm going to be pulling the yarn through as well now sometimes if you have small hands like I do, sometimes it's easy to kind of just kind of start pulling it out at one spot and then just go back in because I can't always get all that squishiness into my hands. So we're going to just keep going all the way around the edge. And as you can see, so I'm going to pull it out just a little bit here. As we do this, this is going to start cinching together. Okay. So let me kind of go back in here and just keep going right around along the edge. Okay, and you notice that I have to pull it out multiple times and then reinsert it. That's not uncommon. Go back in right here. I'm trying to stay as close to the top of the edge as possible. Looks like we just have a little bit more to go here. Reinsert this needle all along the top here. Oh, don't wanna, don't wanna split the fibers. There we go. All right, and you can see that's definitely closing up there at the top. So just a little bit more to go. Almost lost my yarn there okay and then just this one little section I want to do right here and I'm gonna bring that back into where we actually started so this is where we started cinching around and so I'm gonna to want to make sure that I get back over there and I'm gonna kind of go through that area where I first started okay and I'm gonna cinch it all together as tight as I can and as you can see it's gonna leave like kind of a a little bit of a hole right there just a little tiny hole and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to seam this hole together using what's left of my yarn and my needle and I'm basically gonna go back and forth like this way and then this way and I'm just gonna kind of seal that up so kind of just try not to this is the kind of the, the hardest part I think is so that you don't mess up your yarn or your pattern as you're doing this. Sometimes it helps to kind of go in, put your hand into the hat, okay? And hold it like this so that you kind of 
and pull it together, okay? Now, this is also the stage that if you would like to add a pom-pom, you would add it here. You can leave your beanie as is right here without a pom-pom. And so what you do is that once that top is completely sealed, and it mostly is here at this point, I probably wanna do a couple a little bit more, then you would just weave in your ends. You'd weave them in on the inside of the hat, and then you would snip everything down here at the bottom. Okay, so everything's kind of tucked into the inside of the hat. Now, if you were to add a pom-pom, like I said, you would add it at this point. This one here does have a pom-pom on, on it already. This is an adult size that I have done, okay? And what you would do is it sort of depends on the pom-pom that you've chosen. And if you've never added a pom-pom, I am going to do a video on how to add pom-poms in multiple ways. So once that is done, I will add it to the description or into this video if I can. But essentially there is, I don't know if I can, I don't know if you can see it on this one here. With this pom-pom, there is like this little stretchy piece okay, that comes on the pom-pom. This pom-pom was a purchased pom-pom. It was not one that was made. I did not hand make this one, okay? But it has this little kind of like stretchy, almost hair tie. Um, and what you would do is you would take that pom-pom and you would insert your needle through the middle here, come out the other side, insert it down into your hat to cinch that pom-pom onto the top of the hat, if that makes sense. So you'd be going like this through that little elastic piece down into the center of your palm or into the center of your beanie, turn your work inside like this, seal everything off, and then you would be done with your beanie. And that is how you crochet the leaf hopper beanie. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please be sure to give me a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll be back with more great tutorials for you in the future.